All right, y'all. Welcome back to Noah's Arkansas Homestead. I just picked a whole bunch of my tomatoes and canned my own marinara pasta sauce. Oh, man, these are going to be great for my uh, pizzas. Ah, let's get into it. I'm going off the grid. Okay, these are the tomatoes that came off there in my first round. Some of them were kind of getting funky. I guess I just cut some of those bruise spots off. Got my pan. All right, about to cut me down some marinara. Ooh, I feel like I've been chopping and chopping. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and put the heat to it. Save them seeds. All right. Looking good. Take a break from chopping tomatoes. Chop some onion. Some onion in there. Okay, got me some basil for my garden. It's gonna be a good time to get me some of these uh, flower tops. You know, you cut the flower tops, it'll grow back right there and make two. Ooh, that basil it smells so good. Oh, let's get the chopped basil in there. Bam. Oh, got some sugar. Got some salt. Okay, out to the herb garden. Got a little bit of rosemary. Let's see if I can just pull it like that. And some sage. Just got a couple of these sage leaves here. Some nice clean looking ones. Yeah, maybe a little bit more rosemary. There we go. Okay, got my rosemary, sage. Too bad I don't have any thyme. I could have went rosemary, sage, and thyme. Yeah, so uh, even though this would be great on any kind of spaghetti or any other pasta, I'm actually going to can these uh, in little small batches uh, for my pizza sauce. So I like doing pizzas at least once a week. I think these would be excellent. Um, make the perfect amount. Just drop onto my pizza dough and ready to go. Since I'm going to be doing water bathing, I'm going to pour a little bit of uh, uh, apple cider vinegar to help raise the pH, well I mean the acidity, uh, to help kill bacteria and all that good stuff. Okay, it's starting to thicken up pretty good. I think it's time for me to go ahead and get my water bath uh, going. Start uh, sanitizing my cans. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna put my bottom rack in so I won't be on the bottom as much. I just wanna go put these in here and see how many I can have in there all at once. All right, looks like I got that whole case in here. Sanitizing everything, jars, lids. Uh, some tools, you even got my little picker uppers ready to get started. Can okay, I guess before things get too hot, I'm gonna measure me out uh, one of these uh, for my pizza this afternoon. So I'm gonna fill one of these up and uh, put it in here. Okay, got one filled up. Yeah, I was gonna do it right to that ring so to give me uh, a nice head space. There we go. Be for my pizza this afternoon. Okay, I think everything's pretty well sanitized. It's almost to a boil. I'm going to think I'm going to start packing them in. That's going to take me a minute. 
Do a good one here. Just throw it over. Let's see here. I wanted to give it a little bit more head space down to here, but yeah, I'm sure it'll work. Clean this edge up here. Got a middle magnet. I'm not going to over tighten, I'm just going to make sure they're snug. Okay, back on in there. Hopefully by the time I get uh, most of these done and to start boiling. Okay, good timing. I got the last, last one filled that I could right before I start boiling. So, here we go. I'm going to do... 20 minutes on it. Yeah, I think that it's say to do 35 minutes uh, per pint, but because these are not even close to pints, I think 20 minutes would probably be okay. But uh, do what you uh, uh, feel safe. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead take out some of these extra ones. Yeah, I didn't make it to my 24. I guess it looks more like, well, I guess it looked more than I thought it was going to be. So, well, it's okay. I guess, uh, you know, I still have two months worth of uh, marinara sauce for my pizzas. All right, there goes my 20 minutes. Clean this off. Well, look, I'm going to get some hot water to be able to clean this up. There we go. Okay, got them all in here. Let these cool until the lids pop. Is that cool? Okay. All right, looks like most of mine sealed. This one didn't, so it'll probably still be good in the fridge for a week until I can use it again. So this will be the first one to start with. And I took the rings off, you know, take the rings off because they can, uh, the swinging temperatures can make them unsealed and resealed and you don't know, uh, it could get bacteria inside. So I always take the rings off so when it unseals, you know. All right. This is how I save my um, tomato seeds. I usually put them on a paper plate and let them dry. You'll see after you spread them out that the paper plate will actually soak up the juice and, will, and help it dry faster. And then I usually scrape them up and put them in some. And of course, if you have a fan, that will help tremendous put in a Fan blowing across your seeds will help dry them out faster too. Okay, to come back to my seeds, you know the circle you can repeat all over again. I like uh, to scrape them off the just like that, and then you can uh, place it in your little cup, ready to go for next year. And because you didn't wash them first, they still have the dehydrated mucus on them, and when they rehydrate. That mucus will rehydrate and help them germinate better. All right. Never buy seeds again. Mmm. All right, guys. I hope y'all liked uh, my recipe on my fresh marinara.
pizza sauce, uh, pasta sauce. Hey, I'm making a uh, pizza from scratch. I'm cooking on my grill. Check this video out. <laughs> Y'all like these videos? Please like and subscribe. Bye.